Hi guys, it's Dustin, and today we are gonna do some packing because I am moving out of Los Angeles. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a minute since I've been on YouTube. In all honesty, I think life has just been a bit crazy. So I'm releasing music and I'm moving. I'm leaving the country for a few months. And cherry on top, I've really been struggling with my relationship with YouTube and analytics. I've been caring too much about views and things like that. And it's been affecting me creatively and it's been very annoying. So I just need to take a step back. All right, so I am about a month out from when I have to move. I have not yet to pack anything. I feel like you don't really have to start to pack until like the week of. So I think I'm just gonna start packing things that I do not need immediately, such as these books. So if you did not know, I am the classic result of the college dropout YouTuber moves to LA pipeline. And in this pipeline, typically after LA, which they inevitably always end up hating, they'll end up moving to New York City. And I'm here to say I am not following that classic pipeline. I know a lot of people thought I was gonna move to New York, but I decided I am not a New York boy. I don't think it is meant for me to live there full time. I need a step stool. I don't think I have a step stool. I think I, I sold it all. Oh shit, I do need a step stool though. Like, I do be needing a step stool to get up there. Hold on, let me use my nightstand. Anyway, while I'm getting my nightstand, I went there this past December when it was cold and snowing. It was really pretty and beautiful. I've never experienced snowfall before, and I got to experience it in New York, which was so magical. But after about a few days, I was like, yeah, damn, it's cold. It's cold out here actually, like, for real, it's actually kind of cold. Because if you don't know, I am a California boy born and raised, okay? I'm not used to harsh, don't travel unnecessary. Don't make unnecessary journeys. Don't take risks on treacherous roads. And then another thing about New York that I realized is when it's cold, you have to be out in the cold because no one really drives in New York. You're gonna be using public transportation and that just sounds like ass. And when I was in New York in December, I couldn't even walk 15 minutes to go to the gym. While in California, we don't have good public transportation. Walkable cities, non-existent. So when we go outside, we can go in our little warm cars and drive. Yeah, New York, out of the question. I do really love New York though, and I could totally see myself living there part-time. So I do plan on living there for at least like a month or two in the fall time. So you may be asking Dustin, where are you gonna move then? And to answer that question, I am moving back to my hometown. Uh, 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 uh. Which might be very surprising to you guys, but if you guys have been a long time viewer, you know, I was really fucking sad in my hometown. But I think my almost three years living in LA, I've learned about what I prioritize, what I want. By the way, a disclaimer, this is not gonna be a video where I talk shit about LA. I feel like that is so corny and overdone. And also usually when I hear people talking bad about it, they're influencers, they're in the influencer space. And a lot of influencers in LA are not originally from LA, they're transplants. Inevitably, you're gonna be surrounded by other influencers that's gonna be your social circle. Personally, I am not in a huge influencer circle. And when people complain about living in LA, I feel like it's just the people they surround themselves with. If you surround yourself with bad people in any city, you're gonna think the city is bad. Also, I have been in influencer spaces. I go to influencer events sometimes. In LA specifically, I will tell y'all every single time, I fucking hate the energy. I still go to the events, obviously, because it is such a privilege to get invited to those things, and I like the brands, but the people are always like, you know, there's a vibe, and I feel like that's the only time I'm ever surrounded by the stereotypical LA bad energy. Personally, I don't hate LA. I actually really like it and I could totally see myself moving back here living here again Especially if my friends move here and like need roommates or something or if I book a job or something and I need to be here LA natives that live here. I know love LA So you just have to surround yourself with the right people guys Granted it is very hard to find those people because the city is so spread apart and there's no good public transportation But it's possible. You just gotta put in the effort other than the obvious cons of LA like traffic. It's probably honestly the only con of LA in my opinion. Oh, also the parking. The parking's pretty bad, but I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand with the traffic. There's no traffic in LA. I honestly feel like I would stay in LA longer and would love it 10 times more. Just kind of gets annoying having to drive at least 30 minutes to get anywhere. Honestly, you kind of get used to it. Like 30 minutes in LA becomes the new 10 minute drive. We're taking a little bit of a coffee break. I will say I do have some concerns about moving back home. When I used to live back home, I was so sad 
and numb. And I think if you guys have been a longtime viewer, you could totally see that in me. Since moving to LA, I could say I've been in a very healthy, happy, steady state. Like, I don't think I've really gotten that sad the past two and a half years, which is such a blessing. Obviously, I've had my low days where I was like really tired and stuff, but there was no point where I felt like I was in a depressive episode. I didn't really cry that much. The only time I cried was when my dog passed away a few months back. But other than that, I didn't cry ever since I moved. I remember my family life wasn't great. My social life life was very sparse. I love my friends back in my hometown, but in reality, like I didn't really see my friends too often. And a part of me is questioning a little bit, will I revert in growth if I move back home? Will I just become the old version of me, the boy I used to be, fall into the old habits again? I feel like I'll be fine. I feel like I live such a different lifestyle now where if I take this lifestyle back home with me, it will only benefit me. I just need to like make more of an effort to hang out with my friends more often on a regular basis and just create good boundaries with people. I also think it helps that I'm traveling throughout the year, so that's gonna help me have a change of environment, meet a lot of new people and grow. If I didn't have my travel plan set, I don't know if I'd be saying the same, honestly. Also what worries me is the stigma of moving back home with my family. I feel like there is a stigma of growing older and still living with your parents, which I don't really see a problem with, especially in this economy. It is completely valid to be still living with your parents in your 20s. It does help that I am like a freshly graduated college Age, or technically I, I would still be in college right now. And the fact that I am deciding myself to move back home with my parents, I just feel like there is a little bit of a stigma how other people look at you. Like, will I be looked at as a failure by others? But then I realized, I don't really care actually about what other people think about me. So on the note of these healthy mindsets and nurturing my growth comes our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp makes starting therapy easier and much less intimidating for a lot of people. They let you have therapy sessions through phone call, video chat, or even messaging, whatever's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. And they can match you with one of over 30,000 therapists in their network, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise that might not be available in your own city. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire about what challenges you've been going through, what kind of therapists you'd like, and then BetterHelp will match you with a therapist in most cases within 48 hours. And if you feel like your therapist isn't a good fit, you can switch therapists with the click of a button, no additional cost. Join over 4 million people who use BetterHelp to start living healthier, happier lives. You can click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash Dustin. Clicking the link helps support this channel, but also gets you 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. So you can connect with therapists and see if it helps you. So, my main reasons. First reason, being away for three years, I learned I want to spend more time with my family and my hometown friends. And I learned how important it is to me and how much I value it, especially because I spent so much time here alone. I am an extrovert. I love having people around me. It's been pretty hard living every day alone because I do live alone. And I don't see my friends too often on a daily basis. So there are some days where I just see nobody. I wake up, I don't leave the house because I'm just like working on my laptop. It's pretty unhealthy for me. I also realized how time flies by so fast. It's been three years. I missed out on three years of my parents' lives. I missed out on three years of my little sister's life, which sucks. She was like 10 or nine years old. Now she just turned 13. Suddenly now she's like tall and big and grown. When when I left, she was like this little girl in elementary school. And I know if I just stay in LA and I stay away, time is gonna pass without me realizing it. And next thing you know, she's gonna be 18 and in college and I'm gonna be like, what the? What? I'm gonna miss her being young. I don't know if that's like older sibling guilt, but I want to see her go to prom. I want to see her graduate high school. And also my hometown friends, now they're all graduating college. So they're all moving back. And I'm gonna, you know, be able to see my friends again on a, on a regular basis for the little bit of time before everyone like gets jobs and moves again. I kind of think of it as me like graduating college and moving away from college and back to my hometown. Okay, books are now all packed. Oh my god, this is so heavy. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Kind of concluding the family points. I just want to not regret not being around. And I feel like a lot of us don't realize how little of time we have with our family when we move out. If you really think about it, once you move out, you only see your family every few times a year. And if you multiply that by how many years, you know, the average human lives, it's really not that much time. So I've had a lot of my own family issues. At the end of the day, I still love them and I want to be around. You know? And I don't want to wake up one day and think to myself, 
oh, I wish I saw them more and regret that. I know being away will make me forget. But being away, you don't really realize because you're like caught up in your own life. There's so many things going on. You don't realize how much time is actually passing by. And by the time it gets to that point, it's going to be too late. Obviously, there's going to probably be a point where I will feel the need to move out again, which I will. But I, I do want to try to at least spend a year back home and maybe like move somewhere for a little bit and then come back. You know, I, I want to be, I just want to make sure I'm aware and I don't get lost because I feel like the past three years I did get lost a little bit. My next reason, I just need a break from LA. There's just this kind of feeling you get when you feel like you're not growing anymore. It's just my gut telling me you need a change. Also, I don't really take advantage of living in LA. I no longer really feel excited living here and I don't really try to explore that much anymore. I think after living somewhere for a while, you kind of just get used to it, which I also think moving and changing my environment will reignite that excitement in me. And once I move and come back to LA, I'll probably regain that excitement and want to explore more of it because there's so much to explore here, don't get me wrong. And while I like living in LA, I don't really feel the need to be here. Like work-wise, I work from home. Yes, there's events and meetings and opportunities here, but if I really need to, I can always just fly back to LA. I still will live in California and it's not that far. Not only would it be cheaper, but it would be more productive than living here full-time. Part of me likes LA because there is so much opportunity and you never know who you're gonna meet, what opportunity is gonna come your way, but I don't think it's worth waiting around for an opportunity because I feel like a lot of my opportunities come from the internet anyway. I don't wanna wait around for opportunities opportunity and pay the expensive rent just for a opportunity that might not come. I could live the exact same lifestyle I live in LA back home, except it will be way less crowded, more nature, and more homey. So my thought process is, if that is my lifestyle and I just be at home working, why do I live in LA? Destin, you could just go back home, not pay rent, and still go to your cute little cafes and edit. So I'm like, yeah, that's an actually, you know, that's, you know, you make a really good point. I really miss nature, man. LA, there's nature here, and it's like cool or whatever, but it's just a lot of dirt. The only times LA is actually pretty is after it's like rained a ton and then all the grass is actually alive. I don't know, NorCal has it better. I never really understood when people are like, LA is so beautiful nature-wise, because I'd be going on the hikes. Y'all, it's, it's not all that. It's not giving anything. It's giving standard, it's giving average, it's giving bare minimum. Like, yes, there's trees, yes, there's dirt, yes, there's some dead grass, okay. Okay. Girl, I can go in my backyard and I'll see all of that. I also really think moving back home would also benefit my videos. Ever since moving to LA, I don't know if y'all noticed, I haven't really vlogged too much on my life in LA. I've noticed that's kind of a pattern whenever a vlogger moves to LA, that they suddenly just stop vlogging. Or like their vlogs just don't feel the same anymore. They don't feel as authentic. And I truly think because vlogging in LA is so tacky. Back in my hometown, I would just have way more fun vlogging. A lot of my hometown, it's just like me hanging out with my friends, running around fields watching sunsets, which I miss watching sunsets. I miss when watching a sunset was a normal activity to do. While in LA, no one ever has ever texted me like, hey, do you want to go watch the sunset? While back in my hometown, that is what we do because there's not that much else to do. I kind of understand why people don't ask me that. First of all, everyone lives 30 minutes away. You have to drive 30 minutes to pick up your friend and then probably drive 30 minutes to go to the sunset spot. And then by then, the sunset's probably done. You know what I'm saying? It's like a whole trek. And I also feel like it's a lot less relatable. A lot of things in LA are so well known. You know, everything in LA is like a tourist attraction, so I don't really feel the need or want to vlog because I just feel like no one cares. Like everyone has seen Griffith's Observatory, okay? Everyone has seen the Walk of Fame. I don't need to vlog this shit. And every time I do something in LA, it's always like an event, you know, like I'm going to a concert. And I don't really feel the need to vlog those things. I don't think it's very interesting. It's just not the type of vlogger I am. I like vlogging really personal moments. I like vlogging the mundane. I like vlogging, you know, just me hanging out with my friends, which is things I value and things I want to look back on. And I feel like a lot of people like watching that stuff. Personally, for me, I like watching vloggers who are just like talking and just like being personable than travel vloggers doing crazy shit. Like, I do not care if you're going ziplining. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck! I don't care about fucking home!
homeless people. None of my vlogs in LA have felt really satisfying to me. All the vlogs I look back on are usually vlogs back in my hometown. It's rare for me to ever look back on an LA vlog. I just don't feel a special connection with my LA vlogs. But when I'm back home, there's like nature, there's fields I can film in. I could just pull over wherever I want, set my camera up, sit and talk wherever I want. While in LA, I can't do that. Also, with all the money I'm going to be saving, I can travel. I am a person that really values traveling while you are young and capable. I think I realized this this past year because I just traveled way more than I ever have. I was not privileged enough to grow up in a family where they, my parents would take me out of the country a lot. And I kind of always envied those families that would travel around Europe every summer or, you know, even just go across the country to their summer home in Cape Cod, freaking go on their boat. You know, I wanted that. I wanted that so bad. I realized, oh my God, wait, I'm actually severely lacking in that way because I feel like when you travel, you gain so much knowledge. Now I'm finally at a point where I have a remote job. I'm not rich, but I have enough funds to take myself solo traveling. Why not go now? Once I move back home, I'm gonna have like about a month to settle in and chill in my hometown. And then I'm heading to Europe to backpack for a month. I'll be in Italy, France, and England. And then in July, I'm gonna meet up with my family in Asia for a month. And then after that, for the rest of August, I'll be in Australia. That's as much planning as I've done so far. Look at my apartment, guys. It's empty, practically. Like I sold so much of my furniture. Oh, by the way, it's a new day. I have now a haircut and, and a new perm. So now I'm looking a little bit sharper. I'm looking a little bit, you know, looking a little bit better. So next up, we are gonna pack all this up. With everything I've said in this video, I hope it came off correctly that I am so glad that I lived here in LA. I have genuinely no regrets. Growing up, all I wanted to be was a YouTuber and I wanted to live in LA. The fact that I made that happen for myself, I got to live in LA for the past few years is actually so incredible to me. Sometimes I forget to just sit back and realize the fact that I did achieve my childhood dreams and I should be proud of myself. Myself. But I feel like I forget because those dreams passed by the time I actually achieved them Which really sucks when you had this dream for so long and by the time you actually achieve it Your dreams have changed and I think that was kind of the case once I moved to LA I guess I just didn't achieve the dream I wanted fast enough to where it would have been satisfying I love all the people I've met here I feel like two years in is when I really started making incredible friendships. Even two and a half years in now, like even just in a span of the past month or two, I've met so many incredible, cool people that I've been hanging out with and it almost makes me really sad that I'm leaving. It like really sucks. I became friends with these people and now I'm leaving. But that is life and I cannot let anything hold me back. I definitely will be visiting LA, which is why I'm not super sad or anything. But I feel like it won't even feel like I'm gone. The key to having a happy life in LA is to get all your hometown friends to move to LA with you because every time I've talked to someone that has done that I feel like they're the happiest people in the world because they have their entire friend group here and it's so fun for them while me I had to start from scratch I came here knowing nobody but yeah in general if life takes me back I'm I'll catch my ass in LA okay I do like how there are so many people here to meet because the city is just so big and I'm gonna miss how many places there are to go. I feel like there's always something to do if you really wanted to. I'm gonna miss the beach, the nightlife. I guess I'm, in general, I'm just gonna miss being in a relevant place. <laughs> All right, so that is gonna be the end of this video. Other life updates, I'm finally releasing music, which it has been a long time coming. My debut single, As Long As You Love Me, comes out April 12th. Go stream it. It honestly is very surreal and crazy, but it's finally happening and I'm really happy about it. So I hope you guys enjoy the song and hopefully more music comes coming out soon later this year. Oh, also I have merch, I have tote bags, and they're on sale. So if you've been wanting to get one of my tote bags, the link is in the description. Gotta pack this shit up, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Are we singing the outro song right now? Yeah? Okay. Was it something I said? Oh, fuck.